Next week, the Washington County Quorum Court will vote whether to pass a resolution that will declare the county as pro-life. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for your 5 News at 6. I'm Darren Bob. And I'm Erica Thomas. Washington County isn't alone. Benton County is also considering adopting its own pro-life resolution in support of recent state legislation that put a near total ban on abortions. 5 News reporter Bailey Devane breaks down what exactly this resolution does. Washington County Justice of the Peace Patrick Deacons drafted their pro-life resolution and it was passed by committee last week after sparking debate at the courthouse between locals who showed up to voice their concerns. I want to highlight all these organizations that are doing great work to help families and mothers choose life. It's just a waste of time because we don't even have any abortion clinics here in Washington County. The resolution will have no legal bearing but if passed, the county will be able to promote itself as pro-life and voice their support for pro-life nonprofits in the area. Arkansas right now is ranked as the most pro-life state in the nation. That's something that many people are proud of. But some locals say the pro-life resolution does not represent the entire community's beliefs. It would probably cost us some money as a city, as a county quite honestly, and I think it's just sending the wrong idea of what Fayetteville stands for at all. We reached out to Benton County Justice of the Peace, Joseph Boylinger, the author of their pro-life resolution for comment. He says making that declaration would start conversations on how to improve life in Benton County and says he's had overwhelming community support. Deacons hopes more counties will follow in their footsteps and show support of the near total ban on abortions. Some are worried these resolutions will detour people from moving to the area. We hope that this starts a movement that other counties and state will also feel uh, welcomed to proclaim themselves also as a pro-life county and so that uh, this can start a movement statewide to declare life. I have had visitors come here from other states to, to visit me and um, they're a little concerned with with the laws in our state, first of all, and I actually had someone decline to come see me because of the laws here. Covering news where you live, Bailey Devane, 5 News. Now the resolution will go under further review on July 15th. The Benton County Quorum Court will also review its pro-life resolution at the end of July.